It's Jen from Plus One Craft, um, and I am so happy to be playing with color and texture and what's a pretty dreary day here by me. Um, I'm going to be showing you uh, some of my favorite techniques to get some color and texture on the paper quickly and to make some pretty awesome gel press prints. So I'm so glad you're here with me to play today, and let's get started. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get some quick and subtle texture uh, pretty quickly on to just some plain white cardstock. I got some really nice bright colors to use today. And I'm going to be using the 5 by 7 gel press plate. I like this one if my goal is to uh, just make some great prints that I'm going to be using for something else because I can fit two prints on a piece of regular cardstock and so it helps me save paper. Five by seven today. Five by seven is a great plate size for if you do a lot of cards. I've just got this mounted on an acrylic box frame. Makes it easy to um, pick up and print with, maneuver. I got mine, uh, I'm sure, at the thrift store. You could probably just pick it up at your local craft store. All right, I'm just using some regular old bubble wrap today. Um, simple textures, especially ones that are uh, small, like this particular bubble wrap, and fill a lot of the space in your sheet of texture, are great for getting subtle prints. And just use the same bubble wrap multiple times with different colors and pretty quickly build up some really detailed layers. So you may look at that and that works for you. You like um, the, you know, more turquoise, less lime. I'd like to see more of the first color in there. Um, one thing you can do right after you've pulled a print, if, uh, especially if you're using a pretty wet, medium um, that at least stays wet for a little bit after you make the print. Um, just take a plain piece of cardstock or paper and put it over the top. And I'm just pressing it down and it'll pull some of the paint but not all of it. And it's really a way of muting the color you just got. Yeah, there we go. So it also gives me some more to play with later. Set those aside. And uh, as you can see, this pulled some of the turquoise paint, but not all of it. So that gave me the effect I'm going for. Great. Great. So I'm really happy with my final prints here. Um, so and that was just using one piece of bubble wrap, three colors. Uh, the first print, ghost print, print off of my bubble wrap and uh, my brayer roll off. So you can see we got a bunch of different effects just from a really quick printing session. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. And so remember what we did today is we used one texture, three colors. Um, we used a texture that was small and there was a lot of it packed close together. When we got an effect that was maybe a little strong, maybe too much of, the, of one pink color, uh, we used another sheet to sort of mute that effect. Press it down, press, lift off. Thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm Jen from Plus One Craft. And don't forget to create every day.